It's a process that allows us to take advantage of gravity, take advantage of flow equalization that drives to a cleaner waste stream of effluent coming off of the system and also delivers a superior sludge to be used for anaerobic digestion and gas generation in the future. That's the screen box. That's, the That's going, going out. out of the current primary treatment, right? Right. right. And this is going out of our treatment. He was always excited about how clean the water is. I said, Terry, that's great, but we must be leaving something behind. We must be leaving something behind in the bucket, right? And we are. And we're leaving a, a sludge behind that's significantly better in digestion, significantly better in gas generation. Today we're taking the biosolids that are loaded with organics, think of high caloric value, allows us to put those into digestion that can drive a methane gas generation, it's called biogas in the field, to take that to drive it to a new level of performance, whether it's to drive an electrical generator, whether it's to drive an electrical turbine, whether it's to power a bus. Those are the kinds of things we can do now from our waste. These are, this is taking an asset in a community that's currently a liability. Think of it as a cost center. Think of it as a cost center that costs a community hundreds of thousands of dollars per year. Now we're taking that cost center and we're flipping it again to make it a profit center for communities that choose to take on this opportunity. Basically, I'd be shutting half the plant off. I'd be shutting a blower off. 125 horsepower would go off immediately. So that's, it's a direct, measurable result. If, if what they can do works at the full scale with, as we think it will, we'll double the removal of the primaries and reduce by half the energy, or maybe more than half, the energy required after that. Our, our current hypothesis is that the materials that will be generated from the enhanced primary treatment system will be more digestible. So the components that can be turned into methane will be more accessible to the biology in this system to do that. Right, it'll be, it'll be bubbling out of the, the tubes and being collected in the bags, and Jose knows what the different components of that recipe are. Green energy. Fresh energy produced every day. <laughs> They take away the half of the caloric value that's consumed in the digestion process in the body. The other half is still here. We collect it. We collect it in a system that costs nothing to run, really, compared to having a truck go out and pick up everybody's waste product. It's kind of a crazy approach. We believe we have an installed base throughout the United States that allows us to take this and put this in a position where we can drive the economic benefit from this sludge and from the processes you see here to a, to a, to a much higher level than we have so far.